Welcome to Iron Wolf Medieval and Fantasy Craft. Today we're going to be working on an Urkai style LARP shield. Okay, for this you're going to need two things. A foam swim board that I picked up at the dollar store for a buck and some duct tape. We got this regular thin duct tape and some thicker duct tape so we don't use as much. Okay, so we need to cover the whole front of the shield and so we're gonna rip off a long piece of duct tape to go across the middle so just make sure it's long enough now we just put it on and smooth it out Now when you put on the pieces, make sure it overlaps a little bit so that when you're moving around with the shield, it doesn't reveal any of the uh, foam underneath. You can wrap the edges around the shield because those will be covered up later. It's better if you alternate sides with the tape. So you tape the middle, then to the left, then to the right, and then so on and so forth. Take your time to not crease the tape. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and finish up the whole front and then get back to you. So we're going to do that now. Okay, so we finished the front, and before we do the back, we have to make some straps, a handle and an arm strap. So we're gonna rip off a long strip of tape. And then we're going to take this tape and fold it vertically in half so the sticky side is in and it's nice and smooth on the outside now this is a little tricky and might take a little bit so just take your time go slow it's okay if you mess it up a little bit because we're gonna be braiding these straps together so we have to make three long strips so repeat this process three times. Okay, so I finished the three long strips, but you also need three shorter strips, and that'll be your handle. The long ones will be your arm. So now we need to tape the ends together. So just put them together like this, and then just wrap the tape around it. All right, so now that it's taped, we're gonna tape it to the table. Just grab a piece of tape, tape it to the edge of the table. And now we're gonna braid it. So you start off by putting left in the middle, then right in the middle, then left, then right, and so on and so forth but you want to make sure it's a tight braid so every once in a while pull on it a little bit speed this up for you
Now once you're done with that braid, you want to tape the ends together. And then pull on it, make sure it's nice and tight. Then you want to tape that end together. So grab another piece of tape. Do the same as the top, just wrap it around. And there we go, we got a nice arm strap. So now we're going to repeat this process, doing the uh, smaller ones, and we'll get back to you. Okay, they're all finished. There's the arm strap and the handle. So now we need to attach it. So we're going to grab it, lay our arm down on the back of the shield, and then just do a rough measure of where it's going to be comfortable. Then we're going to grab a long piece of tape and tape the end. You want this to be nice and smooth so it makes as much contact with the shield as possible so it's nice and uh, secure. Go ahead and grab another piece and do the same to the other side. Okay, so that's the handle. Now to reinforce it, we're going to use smaller strips to go around it. So you put one on the bottom, overlapping the tape you just laid down. Then one under it, overlapping the previous. Get it as close as you can to the edge of the handle. Then one above that. And another going over the handle. And then one more going under it. And now we have to repeat the same process with the other side. So do that real quick. Again, just overlapping it. Now we have to do the arm. So we're gonna lay our arm back down on the shield. And now this has to be cut. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that. And we're gonna strap that down real fast. Okay, so the handle and the arm strap are strapped down and nice and secure. So it's almost finished. So now we have to cover up the entire back. So we're gonna lay a strip, again for reinforcement, going over the sides, and then we're gonna lay one down directly in the middle, vertically. This way your arm doesn't catch on uh, the little pieces of tape if it was going horizontally. Now this is a little tricky, getting it under there through the straps. So just take your time. Then we use the thinner tape to get really close to it, to the straps. So now we have to cover up the entire back. And any of these little uh, pieces of tape that look like they're lifting, just cover those up with it going opposite. So we're going to do that right now. So we finished putting tape all on the back and we got rid of all those pieces that were sticking out. So the shield's pretty much finished. Fits comfortably and it'll be nice and sturdy. With the edges, you can wrap tape around those to make it stronger.
and you can use the thinner tape for that. So this tape. And for corners and curves, use tiny pieces of tape to get around it. And that's pretty much it. That's how to make an Urukai style LARP shield. Okay, so that's how to make an Urukai style LARP shield. Now you can make this a lot stronger by adding more layers of tape. And you can add details to it by adding paint or just using some markers. You can also use different types of tape, uh, different textured duct tape, like this one has the wood rims and this one has a chrome rim so you can do that as well so subscribe and see you next time